In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some fleecy mittens. They're the quickest, easiest fleecy mittens you've ever made. Great for you, great to give us a gift. Yep, you really can make them in under 30 minutes. They're great for beginners, really easy sewing. You don't need a pattern. So let's get started. I'm Christine of christinescrafts.com and this channel is dedicated to crafting on a budget. So the first thing you're going to do is make your own template. So just get yourself a piece of paper and place your hand on it or the hand of the person you want the mittens for. The fingers together and the thumb sticking out. And you're just going to draw around it an inch away from your hand. And the only thing to be careful of is at your wrist to make sure you keep it wide enough to go around your wrist and for your hand to fit through when you've made your mitten. So just be careful at the wrist. And also make sure you go far enough up your wrist to make the mittens as long as you would like them. As you can see, I'm not making mine go a long way up my wrist. That's up to you. And that's it. There's your template. Check it, make sure you're happy. Remember, you can always go a bit wider if you want a bit more of a loose fit. If you're an inch all the way around, that's going to give you quite a snug fit on your hand, which is how I wanted mine. So cut your own template out and then you're ready to go. Now, I recommend using a nice fleecy fabric to make these mittens. Obviously, it's up to you. You could make them out of something else if you wanted them really thick or you just wanted some nice thin mittens. But as I say, I'm recommending a fleecy fabric. So this is my fabric. Simply fold it in half. So you can see I've got it folded in two. Now you can also see my fabric's patterned and I want to make sure both mittens match. So I'm folding it over and lining it up carefully. And also be placing my mitten template onto the fabric twice. And I'll be making sure they're exactly in the same place regarding the pattern so that my mittens match. So you can see I'm just lining up the fabric. If you've got a pattern, you may need to do the same. And then it's simply a case of placing your template on and pinning it to both layers of fabric. So remember, I'm doing this through two layers of fabric. And this is going to give me enough pieces, enough fabric for one mitten. And then going to have to repeat all this for the other mitten. So once you've got it, you simply need to cut it out. So just cut around your template. The extra inch that you put around your hand is what you're going to use to give a little bit of freedom and your seam allowance. So, yep, just cut your mitten shape out. Make sure you get into that little corner and then we simply need to repeat. So you've got your two pieces you've just cut out. Now place your template on again. If you have a pattern, be careful to line it up in the right place. Pin it on and cut it out. So you should end up with four mitten pieces. So you've got two pairs of mitten pieces. If you haven't, have a look, go back and make sure you get the right number. And then once you get to this point, for each mitten, you simply make sure you've got the right sides of the fabric facing each other. So you want right sides facing and then just pin or clip all the way around. And you're going to sew all around those edges, except for the bit that your hand goes in through. And now you're going to start to see why you need that wider bit at the wrist, otherwise your hand won't fit through. And you need to be guided by how large or small your hand is. So clip all the way around and then sew all the way around, except for where your hand goes through. Now I've used a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance and I've also, once I've stitched it, zigzagged the edges together. So I've used a nice zigzag stitch just to add some strength to the seams. So sew around them like I've done here. And you'll see I've stitched around and I've also zigzagged around. That gives you that bit of extra strength and that's really important. 
When you get to that point where you come down from your thumb, make sure you pivot on the machine and then go round the hand. So at this point, you could turn them out and wear them, but you have got that raw edge against your wrist. So I recommend just turning a small hem, not even a double hem, just a small hem over, pin it in place or clip it and then sew it. So I think you find mine's about half an inch and that just works really well. It's, it holds well and you can sew it. It's not easy to sew that small circle on the machine, but it is possible. There's nothing fancy about my sewing machine. So once you've got that hem done, turn your mitten the right way out. Poke it all the way, make sure it's turned out properly. And you should have a mitten. Now you obviously could have decorated the mittens, you could have sewn motifs on them, you could have put initials on them, whatever you fancy. You could even attach a string to them and put them through the coat sleeves of your child's coat. It's entirely up to you. But there you go, a pair of nice warm fleecy mittens in less than 30 minutes. So good luck with your mittens and if you're looking for any more great ideas for things to sew or things to craft, check out the rest of my channel. So if you've enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up below. Leave me any comments on the mittens you make and thank you for watching. Please subscribe, 